Series, the movie review show sponsored by Serial Weird Magazine and produced by Blackheart Films. I am your host, Josh Hardy, and sitting next to me is my non-existent co-host, Jordan Green. Uh, as you guys know, if you follow us on Facebook, uh, this last week, and we're actually over, we're down in Cincinnati at Horror Hound Weekend, and uh, due to weather conditions, Jordan could not make it here tonight. So uh, let's let's have a word from Jordan. Jordan. <laughs> oh my God, that was gross. Uh, that was actually not sent to us from Jordan. Uh, that was actually part of a production that Jordan and I are doing right now. Um, but anyway, on our next show, I promise you I will have Jordan here in the flesh on the review couch to give you his opinion of the films that we're going to do. Tonight is a special night. It is actually March 31st. And no, it's not special because it's Easter, even though that is... You know, a great holiday. Thank you, Lord. But tonight it is special because it is Adam Green's birthday. And the whole show is going to be dedicated to Adam Green. Uh, so without further ado, we're going to get into Adam Green's first film. Can we zoom in on that camera guy? Not me. There you go. Hatchet. Uh, any of you horror movie fans out there, if you guys love slasher films, grew up watching Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th, uh, Hatchet is the film for you. Hatchet brings back that old school slasher feel with Victor Crowley, who, uh, I don't want to give away too much about each film, but Victor Crowley grew up in the swamps and he's seeking his revenge for a certain cause. Just like any slasher does, they seek their revenge. Um, the graphics on Hatchet very very gross I love uh, what Adam Green has done with the special effects and his vision in the film um, the film came out in 2006 um, you can actually get it on Amazon you can get it on blu-ray right now pretty cheap on Amazon so definitely check it out there uh, in 2010 Hatchet actually had a follow-up sequel Hatchet 2 get a zoom in on that Yes, that is autographed by Adam Green. Uh, and it was also produced by Joe Lynch, who, if you guys are familiar with, did Wrong Turn 2 as the director. Uh, Hatchet 2 follows up with the story from Hatchet 1. Um, they're going back into the swamp to try to kill Victor Crowley. So if you haven't seen these, get these. As far as our rating scale goes here at Real Nightmares, we're going to do a one of... 1 to 10 scale of how many nightmares it gives us and let's just say hey, first off hatchet 1 I'm going to go ahead and say it gives me 9 out of 10 nightmares it is like I said it's a classic it starts off the whole trilogy no one's seen hatchet 3 yet so we don't know if there's going to be more but definitely make sure you see 1 like I said 9 out of 10 nightmares hatchet 2 uh you're going to see Daniel Harris in it. Love Daniel Harris. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give that 9 out of 10 nightmares as well. It does get a lot more gruesome. Um, the death scenes are very gory. I actually think the death scenes in both Hatchets are a lot better than anything I've seen in Nightmare on Elm Street and Friday the 13th. This past weekend when we were at Warhound, we actually had a great opportunity to talk with the cast of Holliston. If you are an Adam Green fan or a horror fan, zoom in on that please. Holliston is actually the TV series on Fearnet that Adam Green started. Um, him and Joe Lynch are actually two guys who live in an apartment and they're independent filmmakers trying to make it. And basically it goes through, I believe there's six episodes with the seventh being the Christmas special, which is excellent. Um, Laura Tez and Corey English are both in this. Dee Snyder is in this as well. Um, and we can't forget Odorous from Guar. Gotta love his humor. Um, definitely, it's not a horror film. There's lots of references to horror films in it. Um, I, I can't even give this a rating. It's a great series. 
But the next one is Chillerama. Zoom in on that. There we go. We got to love our camera guy here today. <laughs> um, Chillerama actually has four B rated, or I'm sorry, four B horror movies. Uh, if you grew up watching, you know, the 80s movies, a lot of them were done, you know, you'd go to the drive-in, a lot of them were, you know, the cheesier type horror movies, things that, you know, couldn't exist or just really out there. Um, what I really liked about Chiller Rama, the first movie, Wadzilla, is exactly what you, it sounds like, you know, it's about a guy's wad in a way. Um, I know it sounds gross. Uh, there's not really a scare factor to it. The graphics in it are definitely that B-horror movie genre type. After uh, Wadzilla, you get uh, a teenage werebear. It kind of has a slower approach to it. I call it Grease 3, as uh, Jordan likes to make fun of me for. But uh, basically, there's they're singing it. It's a little bit of a musical. Uh, it's basically a guy trying to find his way, and he figures out that he's a werebear. Uh, I don't want to ruin any more to that. You know, it's definitely uh, something that you guys should watch. It's on Netflix right now, if you guys have Netflix. Um, followed by that is Adam Green's production of The Diary of Anne Frankenstein. And I will say this, uh, for someone who's made such great horror movies already, it is hilarious. The Diary of Anne Frankenstein is in German and kind of, I call it gibberish. It, <laughs> you have to watch it. Yes, there are subtitles. Me, personally, being a horror movie fan, I hate reading subtitle, subtitles when I'm watching a movie, but it's definitely worth it. Um, and then followed by that is Zombie Movie, which is Joe Lynch's film. They actually, Joe Lynch, what I like about it, he did a really cool thing. He took all three of the films and he wrote his film around it. Uh, the main movie actually takes place in a drive-in, and Joe Lynch actually pays tribute to uh, George, A. Romero, George A. Romero's uh, original Dawn of the Dead, the way he does his zombies. You do see blood and guts and gore, um, but I don't want to give away that special factor that pays tribute, but after you watch Chillerama on Netflix, or if you get it from Amazon, you will see what I'm talking about. You'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm talking. I'm so choked up about it. But uh, Chillerama, I'm going to go ahead and give that 7 out of 10 Nightmares. Like I said, it's a damn good movie. Um, honestly, it, it doesn't have the whole scare factor that we all like and love. But it's definitely a must-see for any horror movie fan. Uh, Serial Weird Magazine is sponsoring this new show. Uh, not only are we going to do horror movie reviews, I want, you know, we're going to do paranormal film reviews. No, I'm not going to do films like Paranormal Activity. What I want is uh, films from you guys. You know, you can actually email us at, can we flash it up here somewhere on the screen? There you go. Uh, you can email us. We'll give you our uh, office address. Send us a copy of your DVDs, your movies. We will, we will, uh, ugh, I can't even talk. We will review your uh, Paranormal films and I'll also review your, uh, horror movie films too. You can get a hold of Serial Weird Magazine here at this email address. Anything, you know, if you guys have products, um, your film company, paranormal group, anything that's just out of the normal, email them. Let them know, hey, we're here. We want to, you know, we want to be in your magazine. All right, guys, this wraps up the very first episode of Real Nightmares. You know, send in the emails. Let us know what you guys want to be reviewed. Um, make sure you put review my film under the topic and uh, like I said today's Adam Green's birthday happy birthday Adam Green uh, do him a favor go out by hatchet hatchet 2 Holliston Holliston 2 actually starts very soon on Fearnet. Um, Chillerama Frozen Spiral so many films out there they go out buy his films I, I will say right now you're not gonna be disappointed until then I hope your nightmares are terrifying